It's been a cold week and that will continue this weekend. The winds coming in from the north by Sunday. High pressure has been controlling things for much of this week, keeping things fairly dry. But that is starting to get squeezed away and uh, cold fronts pushing in from the north will bring a different feel for some, especially by Sunday. For the time being, though, under that high pressure, we've still got a lot of cloud trapped in. A few breaks in parts of Wales and particularly northeast England will allow a frost. But here comes that weather front. It's a cold front bringing some rain across Scotland. As it sinks south, the rain kind of fizzles out. So parts of eastern Scotland and southern Scotland may not see much rain at all. But it, it'll turn damp in southwest Scotland and maybe the north coast of Northern Ireland by first thing on Saturday. Clearer skies will follow, so again, that could allow a touch of frost. But where it stays cloudy, temperatures will mostly hold up, just a, a smidge above freezing. But where we've got any breaks in that cloud for any length of time, we will see a touch of frost to start Saturday. Saturday then, well, plenty going on. We've got this initial first week weather fronts bringing um, damp and drizzly conditions to Northern Ireland, maybe Northwest England, perhaps a few spots of rain in the afternoon in North Wales. Showers in Northern Scotland, rain at this stage, maybe some snow on the tops of the hills, but for a good part of Southern Scotland, Northeast England and much of the Midlands and further south, it'll stay dry, predominantly cloudy. But some breaks in the cloud, allowing a, a few peeps of sunshine to come through. Where it is cloudy in the south, though, it will feel pretty cold here, I suspect. Some places may not get much above three or four Celsius. Elsewhere, temperatures could get to six or seven, particularly with a bit of brightness. But feeling colder, especially in that wind across the north, which will strengthen further during Saturday evening and overnight. Continuing to bring the showers in here. And those showers will start to turn a little more wintry, a bit more sleet and snow mixed in as we head through the early hours of Sunday morning. That could mean things turn quite icy here. Any showers further south for England and Wales will be of rain and they'll be pretty well scattered, most places dry. Again, where we've got any clear skies, the hint of blue on the chart there, there could be some frost in southwest England and again across northern Scotland. But for many, that cloud will just stop temperatures falling too far. Most of us, though, will start fairly close to freezing on Sunday morning. As for Sunday's weather, well, the northerly wind is really setting in at this stage, pushing away these two weather fronts, follow the isobars uh, coming straight down from the Arctic. So that is going to bring a colder feel. The isobars squeezing together as well. So it will be quite a strong wind through Saturday night and Sunday across particularly northeastern Scotland. So a very significant wind chill here and that colder air will push across all parts during Sunday too. Still a thick, a thick enough cloud for a little bit of showery rain over parts of the Midlands and Wales, maybe eastern parts of England during the afternoon. But the showers further north will be turning more and more to snow. That's why we have a snow and ice warning in place across northern Scotland for the whole of Sunday. A few centimetres could build up here and it will feel very cold here with that strong and gusty wind. Temperatures in the south may actually be a little higher on that Sunday compared to Saturday, but generally these numbers are still below average, and particularly when you add that wind on, it will feel cold. Met Office a warning in place for Sunday, but there's one for Monday as well, as the snow showers are likely to continue into here. For uh, more details on those Met Office weather warnings, check our app or our website, of course. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe.